Hey everybody, this is Thomas here. I'm sorry about the bright light. Um, this one, this is strictly for pest control. This is, so I usually have my other videos talking about other things. This is for pest control. Um, living in the inner city, um, we got problems. Um, living in Baltimore City, we got a rat problem. So I have some rats in my basement and they would come in. I am, they, there is a, um, we do have a company that comes in and, uh, um, to do pest control for mice, rats, and all that kind of stuff. But the uh, guy recommended that uh, to use some ammonia. And I've been looking at the internet, and there's some people who recommended that to use uh, ammonia, uh, that it's vented, um, and I have used um, the uh, ammonia uh, in, in my home. When I'm not here, believe it, and it has been effective. Um, the mice don't like the strong smell, um, and I don't like the strong smell either. Uh, however, um, the, the mice still have evaded that, so we do have some snap traps, which have been proven to be effective. Uh, we do have also in my home we have some snap traps for for rats too, and they have been effective. However, um, we, we, there's one particular one I'm not sure how he got in here, but uh, uh, anyway, um, trying to find out, but anyway, uh, the, the, the mice, excuse me, the rat, uh, we had one set up by the wall, and what he is so smart, this one, is that he, he slow, slightly, and so gently moved the traps out of the way, they were like this, now they're like this, so to allow him or her to go into and have free reign of of the uh, of our area. So, uh, seeing this, I said, "Well, this guy is pretty smart." So, let me do some more research on this guy. So, for the past couple of years, I've been looking at various things to do research on uh, to, for pest control. One thing that they said was uh, there are some things that you can use uh, besides the ammonia. Um, I don't have any pets, dogs, cats in, in the house. It's just us. And um, <clears throat> so he recommended that we uh, make some uh, some things. So um, using what other people have said, I've made up my own concoction. And basically, it's, it's real simple. Um, I'm going to take my back for just a second. Excuse me. <laughs> One person said to use uh, this is a uh, plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is a compound used in, to um, use. If you ever had a, like a cast, it's kind of like cement, and what you do basically is make a paste and and to cast certain various parts of limbs that were broken. Um, so, uh, so plaster, uh, plaster of Paris, uh, one guy said that uh, this does work. So I've gotten uh, some plaster of Paris. You gotta be um, careful because this has silica in it. Silica is a uh, irritant. So if you're gonna use it, I recommend that you use a face mask uh, and not breathe it in directly because the plaster the silica can cause other other problems with you, but it's not going to be in a concentrated area. But it's just I'm just letting you know that um, there is some type of risk that you have to have. So uh, I recommend you wear gloves too uh, for uh, for this. Um, also, um, I have um, I'm going to show you the concoction in a minute. Uh, one cup of the plaster of Paris, one cup of uh, some sh of um, Nestle's or, or Hershey's. Uh, chocolate, dark chocolate, any type of chocolate. Uh, one cup of sugar because they like the sweet. You can also add salt because salt makes everything thirsty uh, for them. I also have um, one uh, cup of baking powder. Uh, uh, baking soda. I'm sorry. Baking soda. I'm sorry. And then also I put in some. Um, uh, potato flakes, instant potato flakes, um, 
and the rationale for this is that I'm trying to create a situation where they can't pass the gas, they can't take a poop. Um, rats and mice, they don't have the capacity to, pardon my French, to fart. They can't expel CO2 gas. So what I'm trying to do is use science. Use science in order to kill them because the, uh, as they get bloated up, they can't expel that, that gas, that CO2 gas, and they eventually die because they can't pass it, and it slows down their GI tract. It's horrible death, really. So the potato flakes will do that. The plastic purse will, will cause their GI tract to, to be solid like a rock. The uh, baking, baking soda causes expansion of CO2 gas. The uh, potato flakes also causes expansion of gas. The sugar, just to help with a little bit of sweetness, also I put a little salt in there because if they drink, uh, more water added to the carbon dioxide will also cause uh, gas exchange, uh, reduction of more CO2 gas, which makes it even worse. Uh, I killed one rat this, this way, <laughs> and <laughs> this guy, he was so bloated that he offed himself. I've never seen it. He was so bloated. I mean, he was he was like this because of all the potato flakes and um, uh, baking uh, powder. I mean, baking soda that I used. Uh, so he was bloated. So he 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 killed himself on the trap. <laughs> anyway, so let me go ahead and show you. But also one important thing: make sure you wear gloves. With all these things, you need to wear gloves to protect your hands. Also, uh, rats are, are sensitive to smell. That's why we're using the ammonia. They don't like the smell. So we're going to use the, uh, the um, so make sure that you don't touch anything so that you leave any aroma of that your human, that human came in contact with this. So uh, that's what we do. So I'm going to put this camera around here. So. And I used a um, a uh, aluminum pan to, pardon my French here, uh, to uh, make this out. And there'll be a description in the below that'll tell you exactly what the proportions that I used. This is what I use. You can make up your own little recipe yourself. But um, so far, this has been effective. I have not seen any rats at all down here. I have not seen anything. Um, but this is what it looks like. Okay. I'm sorry if you can't see. So basically, to recap. That's my um, poison. Again, uh, small aluminum pan. Get it at the local dollar store for a buck, buck twenty-five. Plastic Paris. If you don't have plastic Paris, uh, you can just go ahead and use the baking powder itself. Uh, I use one packet of the instant potatoes. Um, put that in there. One to one ratio of sugar to uh, uh, cocoa powder and make sure you wear your gloves and uh, that should take care of, of that situation uh, I put it out in in, a, in an area where there where I've had activity but rats go everywhere believe me and so no human contact so that should work for you okay uh, hit me up in description down down below let me know if this has been successful for you if not um, at least you tried something. Um, go search out other videos too and see how they worked out. This I'm just I'm just giving this a shot and it's been working. Um, also the 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 um, ammonia you can get them bottled for like maybe three four dollars. You know just shop by price. But all this stuff just shop by price, please. Don't don't buy. No don't, don't don't make it too complicated. Okay. So um, just let me know if you guys have had any success with this. Uh, and like I said, I've I've gotten this from looking at various videos. Uh, maybe somebody look at me and say, okay, well, I'm going to do this, spit my own spin on it. But 
that's what I've got so far. So anyway, you guys take care. Thank you very much. Um, please support my uh, uh, my blog. Also, I do have some affiliate links down there if you want to keep me alive. Also, uh, also if you want to leave a tip, I'll send a cash app. So it just just send me something, a little bit of love for a brother. Okay. Anyway, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.